Anybody else who thinks about dinner? Quite true. It doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. Trying to count the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. We got one way to get the population station. Toxic gossip train. Time to do the tracks and harass me for my past. These rumors look like facts if you don't mind. The gaps so don't survive in the crash, but hey. At least you're having fun. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So, there I am. And um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So, I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans. Uh, not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. I was just trying to be best with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like, a family gathering. There's a weird aunt there, she keeps coming up to me and being like, hey girl, it's a tea. And I'm like, um, that was me. Getting group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you because of that I feel like I'm talking to my friends, but from the beginning of my career, I don't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which is really weird to me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on a toxic gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steam all over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board, but close your eyes. Otherwise, you'll realize that the train is made of lies. And that the person you despise maybe don't deserve to die. But hey, at least you're having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. And it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh. Got you all need to take accountability. But that's not the point of your mom mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Oh, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating, oh, she's a narcissist, a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers, make your perfect past, and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you all are disappointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna take that route. I've been to lies and rumors that you made up for route. Hey everybody, I thought so new to harass you. She did some things that I do not like in her past. So everybody gather around, cause we're about to attack. They're not based on facts, oh no. Your lower lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick, give a click, and bam. My reputation's deceased. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda Sings. You know the one, I heard her. But she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I always rely on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Now, have I made some jokes and poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans that feel the trade? Yes. But was my intention to manipulate? It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things are true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So I just wanted to say that, um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer, I'm just a loser. If you didn't understand, I shouldn't respond to fans, and I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so, because five years ago, I made a fart joke. So, even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me, I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little and take accountability. And I just wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. For what it's worth, I never had any bad intentions. But I do feel like shit. The toxic gossip train. Driving down the tracks of misinformation. Toxic gossip train. Got one red ticket to the population station. Toxic gossip train. You tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Rumors look like facts when you don't mind the caps. They won't survive in the crash, but hey. I hope you had some fun. Actually, you know, I feel like maybe I should you guys know something. Um, it seems like maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me try to help. Um, so I'm testing.
people make a mistake, but it doesn't make them a horrible person. Whoa, sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake, but you don't have to take a stick on no. Twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and scatter knives and ruin a life. And Oh no, sometimes people can make a mistake, it doesn't mean you gotta send them hit on no. Sometimes people can make a mistake, and you can kindly let them know, and help them to grow. Sometimes people make mistakes, simply because they made a mistake. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human, it just makes them a human. But what do I know? Fuck me, right? <laughs>